welcome back. This is Stacy D and the Yeti. And today we're gonna to talk about all the experience we've had eating Indian food. Now this is funny because we've actually talked about this. We watch a lot of people on YouTube and they just talk about their experiences. So we were like, what the heck? Why not talk about our experiences? We're gonna get off of the movie trailers and get off of the movie reviews and the, you know, the challenges and the love, <laughs> the love. Just, and, just for this bit. Just maybe. for this bit. And we're gonna talk about actually our story uh, involving Indian food from around the world. Yes. So our very, very first experience ever eating Indian food ever was from our friend who cooked us dinner. And we were not eating meat at this point, so we're meat-free, right? And she had to adapt a fish recipe for it, and she did an amazing job. And I remember just being wowed by the experience. And then also my brain not understanding what I was eating because part of it was like, is this Chinese food or is this Mexican food? And like it weighing back and forth of what the heck it was because there's so many similar flavors to both cultures, but combined, it was just like- <laughs> And we were hooked right away. Yeah, it was amazing. That's going back a little far though, because I wasn't actually thinking about our friend's house. I was thinking about our first experience in Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Milwaukee Wisconsin. That was amazing. So we decided we were traveling to Milwaukee and we were going to see some friends. Well, let's, let's tell the story. Let's, let's uh, this simmer a bit. <laughs> what does Uncle Cy do? So we were actually up in Wisconsin because we were full time on the road as nomads. We were just starting the adventure. So we were into new crap. We were like, what is happening? What is going on? And we actually drove to Milwaukee to see another friend, a content creator. And we just had a big victory, just got our, our trailer. And so we were like, well, what the heck? Let's celebrate with some amazing food. So what did we get? We got some Indian food. And it was our very first time at an Indian restaurant. Okay, so picture this. We're all kind of haggard from the road. And I go into the building first just to scout it out, you know, just to see what it was about and to see if we were clean enough to eat there. And yeah, because we were like dirty folk from the road. Yeah, so I go in and I'm like, okay, there's some casual dining happening. But it was a pretty fancy Indian restaurant. So I come back out, I'm like, I think we'll be okay, you know, just let's just make sure our hair is brushed and, you know, maybe put a top layer on over whatever we're wearing just to make sure that we fit the bill slightly. Like, honey, can I wear flip-flops in here? Mm, let's huh? throw on your tennis shoes. You so, know? We, so we got <laughs> in there and it was fancy. All the sauces came out with the breads and it was like this metal carrying thing with all the different sauces. There were different colors. I'm like, holy crap, it's different colors. Chutneys. I know that chutneys, chutneys. chutneys. But I realized that at this point, I'm just a... So the American that does no crap, and I'm excited about different colored sauces. That's really what happened right off the get. And so we ordered our food. It was family style around here because we weren't used to that, right? So you get your plate, you get a big bowl of rice, and then your meal comes, whatever you ordered, in a side dish. You put it together on your plate. So the five of us were able to sit there and share family yeah. style. It was delicious, right? And all the flavors were explosive. Nothing was too spicy. Um, they kept bringing out bread and we were just so giddy and excited that I think our server just kept bringing us things to make us even more giddy and excited. Yeah, so it was really cool. Yeah, we're like squealy because our experience was so good. And then what happened at the very end? So, and then this guy brings out this plate. I don't know if it's a plate. It's like a bowl, this serving platter of hot towels. Now, I didn't know what was going on with these hot towels because they weren't wet, they weren't dry, but they were friggin' steaming, and I'm not sure how that happens. And so we were all, you know, enamored, not as much as her, and she's like, oh my gosh, I just want to wipe my face. And, you know, she's talking about her hands and her face, and I, I thought she was about to bathe right there. And, uh, like, a gypsy bath. I was like, I was like, can I, can I put this on my face? So the, the waiter says, ma'am, they are all freshly laundered. You are welcome <laughs> to. And I'm over here whispering. I'm like, honey, act like you've been there before. I couldn't. It was so good. <laughs> and it was just, oh, oh. I mean, she was into this. I, I was a little jealous. I mean, she was so into this hot rag. It was like this. So that set the bar for the, the Indian restaurants that we'd even been to. I mean, that put it at like a 10. But once we got through that, I mean, it was, I mean, it was a 10, right? So our next experience wasn't quite a 10, but it was pretty amazing still. We went all the way out to California, right? Because we're on the road. Yeah. Bobbed and we made our way all the way across the United States. Yes. And we said, we need a treat in Santa Cruz, California. So what did we get? We got some Indian food. <laughs> so it was a little tricky this time. We took our car, Suburban, and with a trailer, and we like double parked in this place with parking meters. We had to like walk down and around, and we went to a buffet. 
And this was a beautiful experience, don't get me wrong. It was a buffet and we heard it. So by this time, we're, we've been on the road for a while and now you're laying all this food out in front of us. It was almost like we were starving people, which we weren't. No, and I, th I believe at this time we weren't worried about cleanliness. We had, we had sorted that out. So I just remember going in and it was very... Um, we probably had flip-flops on too. Probably, but it was Santa Cruz, California. Everyone's and, it was wearing, a, and it was a buffet. Everyone's wearing flip-flops. And it was definitely a more modern themed restaurant. Um, you know, I think we sat like at a high table with stools and yeah, it wasn't like a traditional themed Indian restaurant at this point. It was very modern based yeah. decor. Yeah, but it was funny because they had the non bread and they kept bringing out fresh, putting it on the buffet, but they'd come right over to our table and they were giving us non bread. And I think it was like that, that old uh, comedian, like you eat like kill a whale. I think that they were just loading us up with bread to get us on down the road, you know, so maybe we didn't hurt the main food so much. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was their intention. It worked. We got really full, and it was delicious. Freaking delicious. We probably so had the best night's sleep ever. Because when you're in a suburban sleeping with, like this, you're you're curled yeah. up. You're not you're not laying down, and it was amazing. I slept like this with a belly full of Indian food. It was so good. Yeah. So that was... Then we had to run out of there. Side note, side story, sidebar. We had to run out of there, down the block, around the corner, back to the car because we were like four minutes away from expiring our meter plus. We didn't even pay for the slot that the trailer was in, so it could have been a real pickle. But then, then from there, our next experience was up in the frozen north this way. It was Ann Arbor, Michigan. Can you even believe that? So we were up there, and we, we did a stint in northern Michigan, right? We, yeah. we lived there. Well, we were there helping on a cattle farm, and we met my sister and her family in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And it was an amazing, another buffet, but this was a hole in the wall buffet. Okay, this is probably the lowest on my scale here, but even like my lowest scale Indian food is higher than most restaurants. Restaurants. So it was still amazing. But we went there and it was like a galley, right? There were tables on both sides going back and this little hallway off to the side. And they had, it was a buffet again. And it was like four choices. Yeah, but I think all but two, no. No were more than that because a good variety was still vegan, so we got to eat quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah, no. and like the breads were still vegan. Let's like, it let's really not good. doubt that we as a family heard that buffet. We did, and it was still really good. <laughs> I mean, they were struggling financially when we left. I guarantee. <laughs> but it was amazing because again, this is just our experience with Indian foods, and that was pretty good. So that was like a a three, two and a half. That that experience was like a two and a half compared to the ten. But yeah, but it all made it better because we were with family and your sister and that was really good. Yeah, so then we had our newest experience just last night. Stacy D, this lovely broad right here, took us out as a family for my early birthday meal. And it was just right over here near us, you know, about 10 miles that way. Like 10 miles that way. Pretty close to us here, but this was a whole new experience, bro. This was something different. This was stereotypical. You want to tell them what was stereotypical? I'm not sure where you're going. Because it's freaking hot and spicy, bro. Oh, that part. Yeah. So, okay. So, picture this, right? We go in, very authentic decor, right? Really nice people. We go in and we sit down. And the first thing we order was an appetizer of samosas, which is, if you've never eaten this before, it's a pastry stuffed with uh, potatoes and peas. And typically, every time I've eaten this in restaurants or outside of restaurants, it's extremely spicy. So, I was like, okay, it'll be okay. They brought it like a sweet sauce. And I was like... I'm going to get through the what samosas. Sweet sauce? I love samosas, despite how spicy they can be. So I'm like, yeah, this is going to be good. I'm kind of psyching myself up. Go to take a bite. No spice. No spice. Bland right. as crap. Well, I mean, not bland as crap. Well, but regular old, like, gringo samosas. Yeah, they weren't. They didn't have a, a Something we would make at home. Yeah. So I was like, okay, but still good, right? So then we order, and they all say, like, different spice levels. They ask us what spice level we want from zero to ten. So we go, he says he wants a six. And I look oh, at him like, really a six? Like a, a five or a six. I wasn't sure. So I set it on five. Right. I thought I'd tone it down a bit. Right. I went with a three thinking that zero would be no spice and it would scale up just a slight bit. And I wanted just a little bit of spice, right? My mom got a one and she didn't like spicy at all. So she got a one. And I'm thinking again, like a little bit of flavor. That's cool, right? I can't remember how much dad got. Uh, I think he was like oh, a, he was like a four, a three or four. Yeah, because yeah. again, he didn't really want spices. So anyway, they bring out our dishes. And the kids got two and three and four. Yeah, and so we they bring out our dishes. We take the first bite. <sighs> Mine was like supposed mm. to be again a three. It tasted on my scale like it would have been 
a six or a seven. I was like, oh my goodness. You know, she's really leading on. Mine felt like a warm beach, you know, a super sunny beach, except the sun was inside of my belly and it was cooking me from the inside out. I mean, I was freaking hot. As soon as I was like three bites in, the sun was inside of me. Yeah. So what did you say? I just... So like you said, I was explaining here, or was downplaying Well, it? I just downplayed it, because it was like the sun in my guts. Oh, I see. I thought the other way that you meant like it wasn't that bad. No, really, I was setting up for a beach joke to make it sound more elaborate. Oh, that's nice. I like it. It's what a good do beach, I do? <laughs> good beach joke. Yeah, so I got about like halfway through before, I mean, I was definitely full, but before I called it quits, because I was on fire, just on fire. Fire. And poor mom, her dish was a one, and it should have been like a four. I think. And so that was hard. So yeah, that was very challenging and, but okay. But we got through it because we really like the curry. We really like the flavor. So good. Right. So we're thinking that if we go to this particular restaurant again, we're all going to like down Zeros size. To one. Yeah. Zeros to one. Cause this was a <laughs> silly move on my part. So I'm eating. I'm halfway through half the dish. Cause my first plate, I'm eating it. I'm sweating it. I had to get a tissue. Right? And I'm like, you know, kind of got my, my napkin for my mouth, my, my snot. I'm son. It was a mess there. But then I got into my second dish and all of it just kind of cleared up. My belly wasn't burning anymore. And then I plowed through that second dish and I didn't really feel anything until we were driving home. And it's, that's what my belly was saying to me. But it still wasn't high. It wasn't heartburn. It wasn't hateful. But I thought, this is it. Lava baby. I'm gonna, it's a lava baby. So, yeah. So, okay, so we make it through all of that. I get shut down. I can't even stay up. I can't even hang. I'm super tired. I got a belly full of lava. I just went to bed last night. Wake up this morning to my lovely, lovely bride talking about this story like, like it was a scene out of Along Came Polly. Can you even imagine? Do you guys know that movie? Ben Stiller, Jennifer Aniston, right? The scene in the movie where she's all like, she's feisty and fiery and she wants to go on a date and he's a pretty much a, a just being a prat and she takes him out for this indian food but then when they get back to her apartment his belly's on fire so he it just blows out the toilet pretty much it's like ruining her bathroom and i'm pretty sure that is an exact recreation of the story that stacy d told me today would you like to elaborate on that no no so <laughs> but that's exactly how it was and i got the full detailed story and let me tell you it was that movie and i mean a mix between that movie or, you know, when Harry is on the toilet in the oh, condo geez. in uh, in Dumb and Dumber, right? You're talking feet up project. Was it like that? No. Man, this is embarrassing. So, <laughs> you know, it was an amazing story. <laughs> Everyone talks about this having the stereotypical Indian food restaurant. Oh, no, it's hot, spicy, my belly, and having blowouts and stuff. And I think we finally had our real first experience with a stereotypical Indian food. It was pretty rough and I did not think that that was going to be the case. Like I felt thought we had eaten enough Indian food to not have that experience. And yeah, so last night before I went to bed, I was like, you know what? I was like, it's fighting back. Like it's just fighting back and I just want to go to sleep and maybe it won't it won't kill me. And then it it almost tried. So it was a, a food related assassination attempt. <laughs> but no doubt, no doubt, it was absolutely amazing. So never doubt that having a new experience is the way to go. So I think that's that's our story. That might be enough. It might be more information than you even want to hear. So if you guys made it that far in the video, why don't you guys tell us about your Indian food experience or have you ever had a food related experience that just kind of blew your mind? I said mind. All right. Blew your mind. Blew your mind. All right. Are we are we all done here? We're all done here. Make sure you guys, again, hit subscribe, hit follow, and stay tuned for more of this tat splat and goodness. Oh, wrong hand. Wrong. <laughs> wrong hand. Man, the Indian food says you all messed up. This is your left hand. Ring <laughs> finger. Ring finger.